Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm gonna explain to you how you can work with modifiers in Blender 2.8. Uh, basically modifiers are automatic operations that affect an object in a non-destructive way. Um, this means that uh, they, they change the, how an object is displayed and rendered but uh, without uh, changing and affecting its own geometry. Um, we will gonna use, as I said before, Blender 2.8, but uh, this definition can be applied to all 3D softwares. All 3D softwares work with modifiers. Um, for this tutorial, as you can see, I have already created a scene uh, with two monkeys. Okay. And now, if you want to add a modifier, you just need to go here to this menu that has this little wrench. I think that's wrench that is called. And it appears a menu that says Add Modifier. If you click on that, as you can see, you have all the list of all modifiers that Blender can apply to a specific object. Um, I will not talk about all of them. I just to explain to you one or two. Uh, I will give you the basics so that you can explore all the other ones. So to apply a modifier to an object, first make sure that that object is selected and then click on add modifier. For this case, let's add a simple one, maybe a wireframe. As its own name says, wireframe, it applies a wireframe structure to our object. Now let's create another one in the other object. So select the object, click on add modifier and for this case we will use subdivision surface. This is a modifier that I use a lot and probably you will going to use it too uh, bec uh, because it makes our meshes and our objects much more smoother. Uh, basically what this modifier does is multiplicate by four the number of polygons or faces that you have on your object. So let's apply it and as you can see our object has become much more smoother. When you apply a modifier to an object, um, as you can see you have a few options that appears here on the left of your screen. Um, in this case we can change uh, the parameters of the, the subdivision, that was the modifier that we have applied. In this case we are multiplicating the faces, okay, let's use one, but uh, if you click on that object that contains another modifier, as you can see the options are different, okay. I will let you uh, test uh, what all those options do. Uh, it will not uh, be included in this tutorial. And uh, another thing that uh, I want you to know is that modifiers are unique. Uh, this means that I have applied one modifier to this object, another modifier to that object, and they can only be applied to one different object. Okay? Um, I have told you uh, in the beginning of this tutorial um, that uh, modifiers uh, doesn't affect uh, the original geometry of the object and as you can see if I click on the object and select this little X here to remove the modifier it has uh, returned to its original shape. Let's undo this option because I want to show you another way. If you hit Tab to go to Edit Mode, as you can see, its original shape remains the same. Okay, let's show, let, let me show you in this second object. Click on Tab and as you can see, its original geometry is exactly the same. The next thing is that you can apply multiple modifiers to an object. So let's select this one, 
and let's add another modifier let's add uh, the wireframe in this case for example and now we have two modifiers applied to this monkey but as you can see on the screen the result is very different from the first one which already contains a wireframe modifier <coughs> this is because um, in this case uh, the wireframe was applied on <coughs> over uh, a subdivision modifier that have been applied uh, late, um, first okay and the result as you can see is a more smooth wireframe for this case uh, we will gonna apply another one let's click here a modifier and let's add a subdivision surface that is one thing that I want you to see is that um, we have two objects with the same modifiers but uh, applied in different orders and the result is completely different okay in this case we have make a smooth modifier and apply the wireframe over it and in this case was the opposite and the results are completely different so the conclusions that we can take with this is that the order that you apply the modifiers is very very important in the beginning of this tutorial I have said that um, the modifiers will not change the original geometry and I have proved that to you uh, meanwhile you have an option uh, that uh, you can uh, transform your original geometry to uh, uh, the, the shape or the result of the modifier to do that you just need to make sure that the object is selected and click on this little button where it says apply the order uh, in this case is very important to uh, you need to apply uh, from top to bottom or the result will gonna be different uh, that you are seeing on the screen I will prove that to you let me show you if I click here on apply it will apply the subdivision and then the wireframe okay let's undo that options okay and now if I make the opposite apply the the last one that we have created the result is very very different so keep in mind that the order is from top to bottom so that will maintain the aspect that you have on the screen uh, basically uh, I have said to you the basics all you need to know about modifiers um, if you want you can explore the other modifiers one are more complex than another another ones uh, I will try to, to make a tutorial uh, and explain to you what uh, or at least the most important modifiers do um, I hope that you have liked this tutorial uh, please subscribe my channel and I hope to see you soon